Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more five color popper slivers. Let's go. We won the die roll up against Enzyme 35. And uh, can't keep this hand. Can't keep the one landers, especially not in five colors like this. Now, this is a good hand. This is a really good hand. Um, now, question comes in. I don't want to cut anything. I don't. I don't even want to cut this blue. But I might. I might just drop the blue. Look for a third land for the lead the stampede. We don't need the blue yet. We can set up for more mana fixing later, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think uh, I think just getting out this board and trying to be quick with the poisonous might be to our absolute benefit. Bye, blue. We'll see you winged sliver later. Don't worry. We'll get you. We'll get you. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the new deck list. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. We are going to start with a Viverlint here because we want to play our next Viverlint next turn. Get that double poisonous going. And we'll see what Enzyme is all about here. They're playing Tron. All right, well, this will be a nice quick kill with double poisonous for sure. I don't think uh, they can beat this. It's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard, I'll be honest. To beat double, we're going to have triple double poisonous coming at them next turn. They're going to take two here. They're going to go to eight. Turn three. Pretty dope. Pretty good start for Tron. Unless, uh, let's see, what's the only way they could get out of this? Um, they're going to have to have some removal. Um, I don't even think perfect Tron, perfect uh, Tron in hand could save them here. They need to have some kind of, yeah, Cave of Temptation, splash some color, and kill some creatures. Which looks like, the, ooh, I want to play you. I want to play you, but I can't yet. Uh-oh, we're starting to see the mana screw a little bit. This is the thing with this deck that we're testing out. They're not doing anything, so they're going to take the six poisonous, which is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pop through this poisonous. Frenzy Sliver, I want to see you get played. Look at how cool that artwork is. Lovely. All right. We don't have the mana, though. Don't have the mana. We got to get a gem hide for you or a thriving grove. All right, they got blue. But what will they do? Impulse for what? For an answer, because they're dead. That's a quick win against Tron. That was our perfect hand against Tron. I love it. Now you're going to see the Frenzy play. They don't even know. They don't even know what we're on about here. All right, sideboard time. Let's do this. Um, mm -mm, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of Tron we're playing, but I think it's fair to bring in Pyro. And blade back, just in case, I guess. Uh, don't need striking so much. They're not going to have a ton of creatures for us to go against, so... I think I'm okay with cutting two Sidewinders here. Seems reasonable. Do I need anything else? Don't think I need Crypt Sliver, although I do want to try him out as soon as I can. Because he looks dope, too. Really like the artwork on that one. What's this thing? Death can contain the slivers. What made us think we could? The Riptide Project Researcher. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm concerned about the slowness of the hand. It's a bit slow. But I don't think we can toss this. I keep. I'm a little worried. But what's it called with Thriving Grove? I guess uh, I guess red since we have the Pyroblast. Let's see what our draw is. Okay, we're not doing red. We're going to go blue. And we're going to pass. Blue, they say. Slivers playing blue? What? Double Urza's power plant into Prophetic Prism. I've seen better starts. Giving us a chance. All right, we've got both our pretty little colors. That's nice. We don't need to run out our mountain yet. 
Let's just get set up, hit a winding way next turn, drop a sidewinder. See what happens. Uh-oh. They're getting there. Getting there faster than we can put stuff out. All right, Bonders is going to become problematic if they can pull off Tron. Let's drop the Lord. Let's drop the Lord and hold up Pyroblast. Maybe we can hit a good, uh, a good spell. Go for like a Mully D or something. I'll counter a Mully D against them, I think. Better not have drawn into Tron. Do I want to let this resolve? Alright, I'll let that resolve. I should kind of be using this Pyroblast as some kind of protection if I can, but... But I'll counter card draw against them. Oh, Ash Barons. Well, we don't need you yet. Let's start with a Winding Way. See what we can hit. Creature. Wow, that's fine, I guess. Uh, just adds to our board. Seems reasonable, but not a great hit. We do have that scary, scary poisonous, though, and we're swinging in for six. Be afraid they're going to kill something. Should I have held up a pyro? It's probably not going to be a blue spell I can counter. No. Oh, they're already going to prevent damage. That's fun. That's freaking fun. Okay. Cool. Prolonging their turns. It begins. That is one thing I took out of my sideboard, too. That is one thing was... Uh, damage can't be prevented, whatever that card is. Forgetting the name of it. Oh, great. Stonehorn. Cool. Thanks, bro. That's awesome. All right. We're just going to go ahead and do a lead the stampede and keep getting set up. Ooh, look at Survivor's Encampment. Oh, I'm playing you. That's cool. Hell yeah, let's try it all out. Let's try it all out today. Winged and a sinew. All right, could be worse, could be a lot better though. That's for sure. Um, We can't play both can't play both unfortunate so I think we're gonna keep him a secret and we're gonna go ahead and just do this for sinew and we're gonna keep winged a secret just in case they think they can maybe block and survive but they're at the point where it's gonna be rough for them all right go ahead Do we start seeing the flickers come into play? Oh yeah, I need to be countering flickers. That's what I need to be countering. Mm, maybe I should have held up mana for that. Actually, it might have been smart. Alright, let's see what they can do here. They don't have Tron yet. Just gotta point that out. No Tron yet. Mystical Teachings... That would actually be the win right there if I could counter that. Yep, because now they can ephemerate the stone horn. Yeah, if I could have countered that, game, game. All right, they get another turn with that. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. That would have been a wrap. Hmm. Okay, live and you learn. Live and you learn. Mystical teachings. All right, let's uh, play out some stuff. And we're going to cycle this for our island. We 
Yeah. Play the island. Where's our island? Did we dump? Oh, we lost our island. Oh, fudge. I forgot about that. All right. It's fine. We'll just grab a plane so we'll get it out of our hand. Uh, pretty sucky, though, still. All right. Here we go. Look at what I got. Wing sliver. And now we got that pyroblast back up. Just in case. They uh, do another mystical teaching things after this turn. Because I get to rebound this boy. Which is annoying as heck. I don't know how I feel about Ephemerite. I don't, I don't really tend to think it's overpowered. But it is pretty annoying. It's, it's right there. I think Ghostly Flicker is worse. Yeah, I'm going to counter you. I have to. I have to. I can't let them get stuff back from the graveyard right now. Alright. I should have held that in my hand. But, uh, okay. We gotta cross our fingers, basically, that they don't have anything good. They're, it looks like they might be reaching, since they're trying to draw a card with Prophetic Prism. I feel like if they had something to get back Ephemerate or something, they would just be playing it. Tron's not good. Now they can Bonders Ornament. We're right there. We're right there. Black. Black. What are you what are you playing with black? Or are you just tapping anything? Mystical teachings. Yep. Fudge. And they just go get ephemerate. Fudge! Here we go. Buckle up, guys. It's going to be a long ride. It's going to be a long, long ride. And did we lose our other... No. I thought I thought we might have lost our other Pyroblast, but we didn't. Okay, they're going to go Ghostly Flicker. Yeah, that makes more sense. And it begins, you know? So they'll probably grab Wall and, um, ooh, do they have enough mana to do this and survive? What can they grab here? Okay. Okay, they have another mana. All right. Oh, they just, okay, they f f did that on him. All right, all right, all right. Right, okay. And a Molly D. Gotta keep drawing those cards. Never stop drawing if you're trying. Back to three they go. Hopefully no more. No more, no more. We need to get our other Pyroblast. Is what we need. <laughs> That's not what we need. Okay, we're gonna hold it in hand though this time. Four cards, Tron. We're at your mercy. <clears throat> Come on. I've got to show the world that uh, five color slivers and popper can beat Tron. Let's do this. Wall. Yep, man. <sighs> Came down to that one turn holding up that pyroblast, didn't it? Bummer. <laughs> I 
Yup. What a ah! It's so fr this is the most frustrating thing as a sliver player is not being able to attack when you have freaking seven five fives out on the battlefield, flying, flying, flanking, poisonous five five seven of them just chilling, all chilling, waiting for their opportunity. <clears throat> Combo begins. The lock begins. It's like it's not worth it to like hang around for your other pyroblast, you know. Is this another mully? Oh, Genova. Okay, Genova me. Choices, right? Gonna play it out for a few more turns, but discard that. If they keep comboing with Genova, then then it's all done. I want to make sure they do it though. Okay, they're gonna cover their butt. You can't quite hit the Genova again this turn. What am I looking for here? Not much. I think I'm just gonna take my draw and concede. I don't wanna. They, they, they've shown that they can lock us out now. Yeah, alright. That's fine. Let's concede. Let's go to game three. I'm not worried about it. Um... I think this is the best thing we got. Yeah, let's run it back. I think it's the best thing we got. Yes, we will play first, and we've got... That's a hand we got a mulligan. We can't keep that one. Uh, we'll keep this, but I don't, I don't necessarily like it. Um, I'm gonna... Keep the island. Why not? Let's go, Viverlint. Carry us to victory. Classic style. Urza, Shurza. Winding way. All right. You're going to be our savior this game, hopefully. Get in there. I kept a full hand. Ooh, it's rough. Don't like seeing that. I'm gonna be crossing my fingers on their next turn here. Ooh, winged. Ooh, nice. Um, hmm. I guess we just get creatures out here. Yeah, let's just get creatures out. More creatures the better, I think, at this point. We'll winding away next turn. Maybe try to drop a one drop or something. We'll hit Forest Island, try to get a flanking out. Not that the flanking matters too much, but it's just another creature that we can pressure with poisonous. I love seeing you here. It's so nice to have you. I played with Gale Rider and Pioneer too much, and I miss having our guys fly. They deserve to fly. They deserve it. And they did have the natural Tron, which is freaking awesome. They're getting hit for three poisonous next turn, but they're already popping off with a Molly D. 
Looks like a molly. Oh, mystical. Okay. Grabbing. What you say? Oh. That's not good. Frick. I need a plated right now. I need a plated right now. We have to hope for a plated here. Lord will work. Lord will work. Let's keep our distance from that two damage to each non-pirate. Thank you, Winding Way. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. We'll get the three poisonous up there. We do have lethal on board next turn. And we need a way to play Blade back in our Pyroblast. That would really seal the deal here. Right now we do not. But we do have double poisonous coming down if we so choose. Which will... I mean, we've got them on lethal and poisonous, so they've just really got to pull out some stops here to slow us down. Which it's Tron, so, you know, it's not that hard. They can just go get a moment's piece. Which is what I'm guessing they will do, because this card is dead in their hand. Yep, there it is. Momante's piece, which is why I really need to get Blade back out. I mean, we drop Blade back, we just win. That's it. I might even keep him in my hand for a second. Uh, unless, you know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're just going to moment's piece us. Pretty annoying. I can only play one thing, which is also annoying. So let's play a Lord. We don't... They do know about this, but... It is what it is. Pop, pop the moments piece. You got a couple turns before you eat it. So this is one of the tricky parts of playing five colors gets involved. You're not always going to have your mana fully correct. Not every time. We got a lot of sources, though. I feel like we got enough. I still got to play test this a bit. This is You're watching me all play test this. This is literally the second game I played. So, if we need more mana fixing, we'll add it. I don't know if we do, but we'll add it if we need it. It's not too often where we're going to get stuck like this. These are both sideboard cards. I mean, one... Uh, it'd be nice to get a Survivor's Encampment down... At the very least. We've got so many options. Gem Hider or Survivors and Kamen would be the best bet. I mean, if we get any one of those, it's just done. All we gotta do is land a blade back and finish him up. But we keep drawing lords. Yes, we keep drawing lords. Ah. Uh, all right. Time to get the moments piece going. Get it out of here. Oh, they had another one. Lovely. So we can count on quite a few more turns before we kill them, unless we can draw a red source. We're, we're either waiting a few turns or we're drawing a red source, but all the while they are just chilling, setting up. Doing what they need to do. Mystical. I got so much mana now. It's going to be tough. Oh, I can start destroying stuff. That's fun. Good to know, though. Good to know. Because uh, if this blade back comes down, we need to make sure we... Kill him quickly. Lead the stampede. Uh, yeah, I will do it because we do need to find a gem hide. And quickly. 
Do you have a counter? Well, frick you. Okay. Unwind. I chose green with this. I don't know, I, I'm like playing around that really obscure card where they gain life for each attacking creature. <laughs> That's like all I'm playing around here, honestly. <laughs> Maybe they've got it, but they're still going to start flashing back moments of peace, which is what I would assume, but I don't know. We're hitting him with 20 damage anyway, so there's not really a point to swing with everybody if we can play around a card, I guess. Maybe that's silly. But man... I didn't play around at the one game because I was unaware of the card and it did me dirty and I've been scared ever since. So when we get into situations like this, I'm like, I do not want you gaining 20 life because I swung with 20 slivers. <laughs> oh man, we need to play this blade back right freaking now. That's all we need to win. We have them in hand. We have the win in hand. We just need to play it. I believe, I believe you can be drawn with blade back. Flashback mystical teachings looks like. Yep. Gonna go grab I don't know. Another moment's piece or ephemerate. They're grabbing the ghostly flicker now, okay. A monic wall, they're starting to get set up. All we need is a red source. That is it, they're tapped out. This is when we do it. Yep, grab moment's piece back, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. It's here somewhere. That's not it. But we'll play stuff, you know? Go ahead. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up until we get enough. Five color slivers is beating Tron today. It will happen or you will time out and we'll still beat you because you timed out and I don't care if you do Tron I have no mercy for you I have no sympathy for you nothing do your little stupid flick 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 I don't care all we need is one red source and you're dead you just don't know it yet it's all we need you can set up as much as you want Watch how fast I tap these slivers once I put them down. Yay, good job. You survive another turn. Well, I gotta go for it. Why not? Maybe they'll be like, ah... Screw it, let them have it. They can't, uh, they can't attack me anyways, but they're really going to go for a, a, a counter here. Relentless, this deck. Absolutely relentless. Are they not? What are you going to do with this? Can you grab Unwind and... I see three, but you need to use one to do this, and it costs four, right? It does cost four, right? Was I wrong in that? Oh, it does cost three. Oh, I misread that. Well, whatever. We will continue to play patiently. 
I thought I could have swore that said three over there. I was looking at it from all the way over here and it's all blurry. It's not very sharp when these things go down now. It used to be sharper, but for some reason it's not. Maybe it's just the quality of my screen. It's good quality though. Shouldn't be that bad. But I could have swore it said three. All right, we know two cards. Keep drawing away. Keep drawing away. So the only other concerning part that they can start doing is this, which is what I was just going to talk about. They can start uh, destroying and getting back the cast down. Start just whittling away at our board. So, our days are numbered, but not quite yet. It's not quite yet. Please just give me a gem hide or a mountain, please. They're going on six minutes. That's not it, man. Oh, it's rough. Dumbest deck ever. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Now they got double mnemonic, so I guess what would suck if, if they so unwind is a target non-creature at least but they brought back the kill card which fine so be it goodbye sinew okay Five minutes. Hey, we're beating you one way or another. That's what I was telling you, man. Can they unwind me here? Three, four, ghostly flicker. Uh, don't know. Oh my gosh, did we just do it? I think we just did it. All right, land it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Put this out. Where's my extra thing? Do I not get that yet? All right, I need to go empty handed. Haha. <laughs> Frick. Uh, could I have still done it? No. Ah, but they 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 quit. That's good. I need to go empty-handed, which I forgot. Gotta go hellbent. But we could have just killed the wall. Pinged them, whatever. Um, I was actually really risky. It was actually really bad. 
That was really bad. So I want to like freeze frame this because I'm not be able going to be able to see it. Because they, I think um, we had to go empty-handed before we could pop off, but we only had four up here, so we couldn't have actually killed them this turn. I'm going to have to go back and relook and see if we maybe tapped wrong to where we didn't have to tap. Because I tapped one for plated. And even if we hadn't played plated, I would have had to get rid of... No, we still would have had to play it out. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, they were going to lose on time. For sure. But we could only hit them for four. Let me know if I'm doing this wrong, or if you guys are seeing something that uh, I could have done differently. But I think we could only hit them for four. No matter what. We could only hit them for four. And then they could have killed our blade back. And stuck at one and continued their rinse and repeat for the rest of the game. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm going to have to really look at that that last minute of gameplay. But I don't think we could have gone empty-handed unless we had, like, played something sooner, a turn earlier, gotten rid of the Pyroblast earlier. Because I think, uh, I think that might have been our undoing was that Pyroblast in our hand and going down to the just four creatures up with four mana to pop off one damage each. How interesting. Huh. Well, five color slivers did beat Tron. Questionable if they conceded too early, but if they had not conceded, they would have timed out, like, for show. But I'm pretty happy with that. I think we got pretty screwed uh, with getting that blade back out. I thought we should have been able to get out a little bit faster. Our stuff was down there deep, and we got countered twice with our st lead the stampedes. Ooh, man, I'm, I'm kind of reeling in my head from that, trying to think back. Man, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate it. If you watched all the way to the video, end of the video through this long Tron matchup, you are an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Stay tuned tomorrow for more five-color popper slippers. We'll see you then.